Hello everyone, you're watching Physio Classroom channel and in today's video, we are going to learn the manual therapy skill to deliver the deep inhibitory pressure technique to manage hiccups in neurological and other patients. Hiccups, which are also known as singletus, are produced from sudden involuntary contraction of the diaphragm muscle. When this muscle undergoes spasm, there is a sudden snapshot of the vocal cords producing the hiccup sound. Now some of the common causes that can result in production of hiccups are eating too much, drinking too quickly, certain diseases as well as abdominal surgeries which can irritate the phrenic nerve that controls the diaphragm, certain neurological disorders as well as certain medications can also result in production of hiccups. Now it is important to note that when should ideally hiccups be treated? Now hiccups should only be treated when they persist for more than 3 hours or they create disturbance in the eating and sleeping pattern of the patient. Now physiotherapy students as well as physiotherapists who are working in the hospital care settings and are seeing post-surgical patients as well as patients in the neurological wards must have often come across situations where the patient is having uncontrolled hiccups for more than 48 hours. For such patients, actually there is multiple spastic contractions of the diaphragm and the intercostal muscles which have actually resulted in a continuous hiccup reflex production. So the idea of this technique which is going to be demonstrated is to break this hiccup reflex arc. Now the hiccup reflex arc is mediated by the afferent center and the efferent fibers. The afferent being the phrenic nerve the vagus nerve and the sympathetic fibers which takes the somatic and the visceral inputs. The center is the midbrain and the efferent forms by the motor fibers of the phrenic nerve. So let's get started with the practical demonstration of deep inhibitory pressure technique to manage hiccups in such patients. So to deliver the deep pressure inhibitory technique to manage hiccups, the therapist can make the patient either lie down in supine line position or the patient can also be made to assume the sitting position. So for this technique, the therapist is going to access the phrenic nerve right in the triangle which is formed by the sternal and the clavicular head of the sternocleidomastoid muscle. So as we all know that the phrenic nerve derives its origin from the C4 nerve root and partly from the C5 and C3 nerve roots. It then descends down deep to the omohyoid muscle which is one of the muscle of the infrahyoid muscle group and then it runs superficial to the anterior scalenae and then finally it runs downward and reaches the diaphragm. So to perform the deep pressure inhibitory technique just rotate the head and neck of the patient to the opposite side. So let's say for example we are going to manipulate the left sided phrenic nerve. So we are going to rotate the head and neck of the patient to the right side. Now again after this triangle has been localized, the therapist can either use the index finger, middle finger or even the thumb to apply a downward oblique and medial deep inhibitory pressure and maintain this for around a minute. Now remember that this deep inhibitory pressure can be slightly painful or produce mild discomfort to the patient. Maintain this pressure until the hiccup reflex cycle breaks and then the pressure will be released. Now in case this deep inhibitory pressure technique does not work on the left side, then the therapist can also decide to work on the right sided phrenic nerve also. So I sincerely hope that the manual therapy skill to manage hiccups in neurological and other patients is going to be helpful for you all. Do try this on your patients and give us your valuable feedback. See you all in our another video with a new physiotherapy technique. Till then, keep learning, keep sharing and stay connected.